everyone and viewers. Privyet Druzian is at Italy. Welcome. Thank you for taking a moment uh, looking at my guide video for the British uh, campaign. And we're going to get right into the starter deck. And uh, there we go. Make sure all my stuff is working. Looks like everything's working good. And if uh, you're new to the video, we did uh, two previous ones. And for quick deck information, uh, it is the the British control and air. And imagine you can have control tank or control artillery. I imagine so the control decks are like removals or buffing stuff. I would assume. Uh, but we'll go back and uh, we're going for the treasure of the D1 team D520. Okay, so we've got some French planes, and here we go. And we did a good job on the last battle. It was tough. Enemies coming at us again to stand resolute. My French allies are sending us reinforcements. Use them wisely. Okay, so I guess we'll expect some French cards now, I suppose. Now, of course, the mulligan has always been a question. Do I mulligan, not mulligan? And now we get to get the cards back, but... We have Rommel. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, well, we're certainly not keeping the nine card. Uh, call to the cause. Okay, oh, this is the French card here, right? Okay, I probably wouldn't keep that. Actually, everything here is kind of bad, guys. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Um, I keep, you know, uh, just we're going to trade everything out. I don't know. I, I feel this is just not going to happen. Removal, buff. Buff. <laughs> wow, we're even worse. Oh, this is a great guide, guys. Well, we're going to start off break just a okay. I probably should have at least kept the one card, right? Okay. Uh, nothing happens. We're passing the turn. All right, this should bring it down. I hope. Let's see if he brings it down. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. It's going to be interesting because we can at least put something on the board. Oh, it's a shame to waste the bomber into that. But uh, we have to put something down. Um, we, I'm afraid that they're going to have some Sky Baron or something. That's, I really would like to like to maximize my curve here. But uh, we could make this a three, three. Okay, I think I'm going to put it there, guys. We'll just see what happens. I'm not sure if you can actually lose on the guide trainings too, but I mean they do give them like less health, but. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, they put a big one down there. Oh, this is terrible. Or they can't. I absolutely got no cards, guys. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, well, we're going to have to move the other one down. I, You know, for the sake that it's a one attack, in this case, I would um, at least hit it for three. So if it does come down, we can at least maybe take the ping for that. And if we can, hopefully... We can definitely lay down the plane next time, but we don't get any damage back if they attack us. We are going to get hit once here. Ooh, that's good. Now we can't do nothing. Did you bring it down? Uh, he's going to wipe out our plane now. Wow. We get... I don't believe this. Okay, well, we're going to save our... Uh, as I understand, uh, the bomber should be saved by the... Fighter, is that how it works? Uh, bombers are not dealt damage by units they attack, except by fighters. They ignore guards, deal no damage when defending. Because I thought that that the planes here, fighters can attack targets when in the battle and prevent bombers from attacking. Uh-huh. I'm not sure how this works. We'll have to figure this out. Okay, but anyhow, I'm going to do this for a start. Well, this was, uh, I think even the mulligan would have been something crazy. Okay, I thought he was going to hit that eventually, but at least we get a cup of tea down. We can take a little bit. Now, he was going to, okay, so he can take it. Doesn't matter, eh? So we can't actually bomb, but they can attack even though we have a fighter. Okay, well, that, that's good to know. At least we're learning something here. Uh, we're just going to let that sit there for now. Uh, three, that's kind of, what? Can move and attack the same turn, so that means two turns on the next one. They can funk Hit us for three. Wow. Um, boy, oh boy. Well, I think we're going to want to.
guard the plane, I suppose. We can survive. I would like to maybe take that out. Or that one of the I think the plane should come out because they actually got except for this one, but they, they both can attack. This is the thing he can attack and he can attack. We're taking three damage, but it's better to maybe to remove a two. So I would do it this way, and then let's just bring our uh, maybe we'll survive. Now we'll survive if he brings it down, but he has to go into the guard anyway, at least do the so they have a, a seven eight, and of course they need the seven to kill that. If they decide that uh, only they can only get four damage in. All right, so we'll leave it like that. Depends if they got to. I'm only afraid of the sky barons. The, the, the last guide they used the sky baron. Uh huh. There it is. What I thought it was going to come up for sure, right? Okay, but still we can get something going here. Um, so this two defense doesn't help. I uh, feel like we should draw two cards here at some point, but I think maybe we will try another Spitfire and one more defense. Let's make this one a five six or we buff this one. Uh, see now, because they got seven, they can actually take that out if they put all three cards, but they all still survive. And if I put that to a five six, I can survive at least two attacks, right? So let's see which way they go with that. And of course, we've got removals we can't use, so we're probably going to have to draw cards next turn. This is getting pretty terrible for us. So we do have some strength on the board, but we have lots of defense. Uh-huh, that's what I thought they were going to do, just to all attack one at a time, right? Uh-huh. Okay, that's definitely got to go bye-bye. We drew a card on it. Oh, Churchill is actually good for us. Um, but my first move will be... Uh, we've got eight, so we're going to spend four. We need some kind of buff card. We need some kind of buff card. I would think, or no, something, yeah, for the Churchill. Is this that? Yeah, we need cards. Uh, let's draw two cards. Defense were really good. There we go. We got a naval support, but now I can't drop the Churchill. Um, I can add a naval support this time. Oh uh, boy, what to do? Okay, we're definitely going to get rid of the tank. It still leaves us two left, but I can't, I can't naval support yet. But that's going to be removed. And we will put five into the headquarters here. I think this is the best way to do it since it's free. And so now we have uh, a seven nine and they have a Seven, six. So mathematically, we're still okay unless they have a hard removal. And hard means, as I understand, is that if something gets completely outright killed without losing a card. Yeah. Well, all right. I'm waiting for that guard to go. All right. So this is where it gets interesting now. Oh, we got this that fury card again. So here, I probably would drop. The Churchill. I will certainly buff it. So that'll be a 7-7, seven, seven, unless they got a hard removal, even if they got, yeah, they could annihilate it or do something like that. Uh, do we really want to waste three into the plane? See, so now I have a choice, because actually it's better for them to attack. Actually, they got to attack exactly into that. And I probably will wait. I'm going to put five in again to the headquarters. And at least we'll see how the turns go here because uh, the card draw is limited. I want to see. I have the feeling that if they remove one of these cards, if, if the plane goes, we're in a little bit of trouble. I'll have to put a tank down. And even then, again, we can only put one 
and they draw another card. He's been drawing cards every turn almost, but they're getting a full board. But again, we're safe, guys, because of no guards. If they had a guard on this, we'd be like in so much trouble, I think, really. And then they'd be punching everything in. So we would basically get rid of most of the damage. So in this case, we have a naval support that doesn't help us now. Fury kind of does. So, but I want to kind of just practice a little bit. So we're going to at least remove the tank. And that gives our card usage. But yeah, we're pretty low on cards at this point, right? So they would like punch the tank down in there, right? So I probably should have maybe hit that instead, but that's okay. Um, and we can actually attack and move, but I'm not going to bother. Actually, we should maybe just... Because we get the zero, and this other thing, I'm paying attention to the armor too, that we'll always be aware of that, that these one cost cards now we can get rid of. We get no damage, and uh, we can put it like so. And I still think about my Fury card. I really like to get it down. But the naval support, yeah, there's nothing that's going to give us other than the Fury. It would bump our Fury up, maybe. But let's, we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, we'll finish it here, I think, because uh, they're going to start stacking it and we're not going to be able to get through to that. And I'm afraid that they will, two cards, uh, he'll pump that into there, make that damage. We could maybe buff it, I suppose, add naval support. No, it'll bring it down. But yeah, we'll finish it here, guys. Or we can, you know, still pluck away. We can still take, like, some damage, but this will be 5 for 5. It's kind of a waste. Because that tank will come down and smuck that for sure. So it'll be like a 7-4 when it's done. And then he can like rip into one and then bring this down, then down. Or we could go one more turn. So we can think about that. Uh, just for the sake to see. We can see how it plays out. But uh, should I hit it for the one less or I take one of the threes? Because this automatically dies. If this is at a three... Up to five and a three. Yeah, let's do it this way. Let's play it one more turn. We're going to risk it a little bit. Um, and then, uh, naval support. I'm thinking about putting the fury down. Uh, for the sake to see what happens. You know what? Let's put the fury down. Uh, I'm going to leave this unattended. I'll put it here. We'll play one more time. Let's, let's see if I can get a small combo going. Because this is kind of interesting. That's why the guide series does help us a little bit. And if we don't lose the plane, we have a finishing move here. So we'll see if the tank tank has to know if he was going to go for the guard. But here, regardless, they left their their guard uh, or their headquarters uncovered. And three damage, yeah, no big deal. Uh huh. Okay, that's okay. And See, now this work gets interesting because we can actually still take that and survive, but of course we lose our plane, right? Uh, guard, we had naval support. Uh -huh. Okay, so for the fun now, I would put this down, naval support that. This has Fury, guys, so we will make this. just want to play a little bit to see what happens here. So, Fury means we can attack twice, so we can once into there, so that will get rid of that. And, of course, now we die to that, but we are under a guard, or, say we keep this for one. Okay, we'll get rid of the big tank. Everything is now guarded. Uh, but we got this maximum value out of the tank. There we go. I think this was a good play just to feel it out. Now, here, uh, it's two of damage. We can actually survive that, but in a technical state we're at, that we're at, I would push it up if it was a longer game, but I will finish it here. At least we showed some little combination of removal and we will finish it there.
But yeah, I did extend it a little bit longer, but uh, I don't want to pull the string too, too far now, right? You got to be careful, right? All right. So, control deck, very interesting uh, kind of learning. So, now we get two limited planes, deal two damage to air. Boy, this is not bad, air to air, eh? Extra two to bombers, like five to crack. Wow, that's pretty cool if I saw that buffed up. Wow, well, repaired plus one, but that's like I see potential in that card. And I do like the airplanes too. So here we go. And uh, our third guide is now finished. And uh, we'll pop up my camera here and say, Hey, everybody, I'm Encon Minister, your host. And uh, uh, please like and subscribe and share and uh, look out for my next video. And please check out the other guide on the previous three nations that are in the uh, group of the guides and uh, check it out. Share with your friends and uh, look forward to playing with you. Bye for now.